Hi, this is Kevin with Let Me Tech You back with another video on a Terraform uh, variable, or actually not going to say variable, but a, a meta argument that you can use to create multiple resources that are essentially similar. And that meta argument is called the count. Um, so if you're seeing my previous videos, um, I've talked a little bit about for each. And the for each uh, meta argument is more so preferred. Uh, over account only because you get more functionality out of it. Um, if you have resources that are basically going to be maybe um, that's going to need some additional changes as far as like what's getting created, um, you're probably going to want to use for each because if the instances aren't identical, it's going to be hard to um, derive the um, resource that you want to create based off of a, a uh, integer. So instead of using a number, the for each, you can use you know maps and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is show you here, I'm going to create a Azure virtual machine. And I'm gonna take this directly from the actual, uh, let's let me go back there. Let's back into here. Okay, so I'm gonna actually take this from the documentation here and under Azure we can go to let's bring this out a little bit okay so Azure or let's go virtual machine so we're gonna do Azure RM we're gonna use the new Windows virtual machine and with this we're going to take the actually we're going to take we're going to create a resource group too real quick let's just make an, a resource group called the example we'll put it in us or east us then we're going to need let's actually take this stuff too here i'm going to take all this actually just so we have everything we need and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to take that, bring it all down in there. So I'm not going to worry about this, but the name we can derive from. Yeah, we'll call it, we'll call them uh, all just example machine for now. So what we'll do though is we're going to use the count uh, method. So what we'll need to do it is inside of this resource, we're going to go let me bring that down a little bit so count equals let's do four so now what we're going to do is once this gets created it's going to understand that we want to create four resources of what's down below so we're going to go ahead and save this and with that saved and actually what we'll do is just to make the name different We'll just do a dollar sign and let's do a count dot index. And that's just gonna put like the number one, two, three, four after each um, creation. So now we're gonna do a Terraform plan. And we should see if we have any errors here. So I'm using my local, um, not using like a backend provider or anything, which some of my other videos I do, which does tend to take a little longer. So let me speed this up. So now that we've got the plan going, and I actually had to, uh, actually you're going to need the um, dash in between the uh, count.index because it can't have spaces. You're going to need to add, it's only going to allow alphanumeric um characters so basically it's just going to need to just throw a little dash in there so it's example machine dash one dash two three four so on and so forth so if we scroll up in here we'll see that we got eight things to be added and so you got example three will be created example two will be created and then one and then index of zero 
will be created to use this. Now we could use four each, but I'm just giving you an example, the count method if you want to just keep it simple. If all the uh, variables are gonna be the same, and this kind of makes sense when you're doing things like creating machines like this. Like if we're gonna be creating say 20 machines or you know something that scales or you know you don't want to have to individually create every single thing it's going to be the same size same resource group i mean it's easier just to go ahead and do a count throw a 20 in there and fire it off so now we got the terraform plan in place we can do the terraform apply let's just do auto approve since we know what we want so what this is going to do now is going to go through create the resource group virtual network, Azure subnet, um, network interface, and then obviously the um, it's gonna be added to all the different machines there. So if we go into Azure now, which easily you're, you're gonna know what's gonna happen, it's just gonna create all those resources and then we'll be all set from there. So with that being said, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, just a simple little way of how to use count in Terraform. If you have any questions in regards to this video, you know, drop me a uh, um, comment down below. I'll be sure to get back with you. Again, you can also see some of these uh, different labs and things I do on my blog, letmetechyou.com. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you have any ideas or questions on different videos or labs you would like me to do. Uh, go ahead and shoot me an email there, which I do drop down in the um, description there be down below. And again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.